a cooler dinosaur museum somewhere, but I don't know where it is, and I've been to a lot of dinosaur museums. For like five dollars, the kids can carve out fossils with a with a drill, or make a casting. There's a lot of exhibits you can touch that you're encouraged to touch. You know, I was working on something here. Going back in time here. This used to scare the crap out of my kids. Oh, sorry. Can't see it probably, but it's stars. There wasn't even an over there. Every time I come here, I see something new I missed before. Very common for them to have a reconstruction next to a fossil. It's very easy to miss things because there's just so many things here. So many little details.
get so close to. used to have a physical dinosaur that you could change body parts for that was like life size that was really cool but I don't know maybe it wore out not too overused maybe kids got hurt because the pieces were too big who knows it's too bad that's not here anymore but this is still such a cool place and it's freaking huge I mean, you know, it's like someone said, well, of course you're going to have a T-Rex when we build this museum, but it would be really cool. Well, how about the Spinosaurus down there? How about two T-Rexes fighting over an animal they just killed? And yeah, I mean, how cool is that? replica footprints <laughs> a whole that's the steps here it's what I find interesting is just the artistic thought that went into this display because there's so much happening here and it, even though they're individual exhibits, they all integrate from every angle. You've got like these two T-Rexes fighting over food and everybody else is just like, okay, uh, we want to get out of here. <laughs> Except for the, this Triceratops type dinosaur. Which is, you know, taking more of a defensive position. Photo off for kids. Hey, my son is still isn't tired of it. <laughs> and you can get so close. And I know most of these are castings, but the larger ones are castings, but. There's still something you said about being able to get really close to things. And they have a lot of actual dinosaur fossils. Go ahead and touch. A few places with a Spinosaurus skull. Poor Kermit the Frog. I mean a Bambi Raptor. And oh, I almost missed. Well, there's a dinosaur scale, but the amber casting. Not casting, it's the amber. Well, I'll come back to that. I'm probably not going to get the whole museum.
there's a spider I wanted to get, but someone else is taking active interest because it's pretty cool. So let's skip that, but. And arguably, this isn't even the most fascinating part, the most artistic part of the whole display. We're about to enter that, in my, in my uh, subjective opinion. And because of the really cool lighting here, I'm sure it's not gonna show up very well in video. But everything has like a fluorescent blue. And it's really hard to capture the scale of this room. That's into its tail over here. Fossilized crab. The contents of what this fish ate. In its stomach. So yeah, there's no way that this is gonna get captured. <laughs> really, but it's so cool. Prehistoric whale skull, great white obligatory great white shirt with the Megalodon replica. Lots of interactive displays, more than I'm catching. They just have so many cool things here. I mean, I normally wouldn't care that much about crabs, but... It's like, they're like, let's just make the most awesome prehistoric museum ever. And let's make everything just come to life. Baby mammoth? Sure, let's have a baby mammoth. Let's explain how ancient Greeks sometimes, I thought this was a cyclops, and they found the skull. And I'm sure I missed something cool, but. Have one of these too. <laughs> they even have one for children who can't access the way that they Isn't that just thoughtful? And this is not the whole museum, but. It should give an idea of just what a it, what a great museum this is. <laughs>